Hello folks, so let us set our character up to actually level up now that we can complete quests and all that jazz and be good for her to be able to actually gain the experience. So what I'm going to do is inside the player blueprint I'm going to add a new function that's called gain XP. Now I want this to take in a float of an input, so input, this will be the XP amount gained and it will be a float. Now remember when we set up our leveling system we had uh, somewhere yeah, current XP what we need for the next level and our actual level. So once we gain experience we want to take our current XP how much we currently have and we want to add this amount to it. Then we want to set our new amount. So we'll set the current XP to the new amount. Now we want to check the result and see if it's greater than or equal to what we needed for our next level. So we'll add a branch and if it is then we want to subtract one of these from the other. So we want to subtract the next level from the current XP because if they're equal then it goes to zero but if this is more, then this will be there will be a remainder that we can transfer and set our current amount to. So I'm going to grab out one more current XP, and then I want to subtract the next level from it. Now we're going to promote this to actually we can just set the current XP to that. So we'll set the current XP to this remainder. So if what we have is greater or equal to what we need, then we set what we have to the difference between them. So we'll set that to that. We'll grab out our level integer and we will increment that. And then what you can do, just to double check, after we get to the end we'll, we'll do this, but you can loop back and see. So if you got something, like if you need a hundred experience to level up, but you got a quest that gives you like 500 experience, We'll loop back through this so that it happens an appropriate amount of times. Alright, so we have incremented our level. Now I'm going to show you all two different ways that you all could do. Or you can combine these into one method and use the skill point for something else. So I'm going to add a new variable and this is going to be called skill points. So every time the character levels up they can get a skill point or you can go a more traditional JRPG route and every time they level up the strength and defense and health and everything just goes up a, a certain amount or a random amount between a range you know so what we're going to do first is increment our skill points now I will show you all how to use these in another video for right now we're just going to be increasing them but what else we can do if you want to use the skill points to update your stats we'll do that in another video but if not then what you can also do is we'll get our strength get our defense get our max health get our max mana and any other stat associated with your character that might increase on a level up so for the strength I'm also going to want to set these. You can hold alt on the keyboard and drag out a variable and it'll do an automatic set or control on the keyboard and it does an automatic get. Just FYI. Alright, so strength, defense, max, oh, max health, max mana. Alright, so I am going to hook these all up just like this. Strength, defense. I'm going to add a little bit of space in between them because you'll see why in just a second. So I'm going to hook all the sets up together. And now what we can do is say for instance when we update our strength and such, we can take our strength, add, and off this bottom one you can do a random integer in range. So you can take your strength that we've defaulted to 10 and let's say every time they level up, let's add between 3 and 7 points to it. And then we'll set it to that. And then we can do the same thing for the defense. 
So we'll take our defense. Well, actually, what we can do is we can just copy that, paste that. Let's say you want them to be a little bit more defensive, or the defense goes up a little bit faster, then you just increase these numbers. Now, for the max health, it defaulted to 100. So you can do just the same thing. So we'll do this add, and we'll do a random float in range. Now the random float, let's say between uh, 15 and 30. Now the only thing I'll do differently on this one is I'm going to round. So that'll make it, it'll get rid of all the decimal points and make sure that it returns and adds the right amount to it. Now for this one way over here, we can do the same thing. So I'll copy that and paste it. Now for my max mana, it can go up a random amount also. And it got a little sloppy, I'm sorry, but that's how you would do just a random increase of your stats like that after leveling up. So now, this defaults to zero, right? Yes, okay, all right. So what we can do now is let's say after you've gone through all your level procedure, you still have enough experience to hit that next level again. So the next, the current XP is still greater than the next level needed, which actually that's one more thing we need to do. So we need to take our next level, we need to get that, and we need to increase that. So we'll set, just like we did the other one. So let's see, and you can do any kind of math combinations you want in order to be able to set it up, or you can bring in a data table and punch in manual numbers. For mine, I'm just going to do, I'm going to times it, so I'm going to multiply by a random float in range. So I'm going to be let it be between 1.05 and 1.15 and then I'll round this. So that's what it is. So it'll always increase. You want it to be timesing by at least one, so otherwise it'll go down. So it'll increase by between 5 and 15% every time. But it'll be a little bit random, so it's not like adding 10 every time, so you know exactly how much to get. It can have a little bit of randomness to it. So now let's say that our current XP is still greater than this new amount. So we can check it by doing a dragging off this, getting it greater than or equal to. We want to swap that one from the top to the bottom. So we'll get our current XP and hook that to the top. Then we'll add a branch right here. We're going to add a small delay. Can't add a delay, but we can just feed it back. It should be fine. So I'll loop this all the way back to here just to have a double branch. Shouldn't affect anything. Now, give me that wire, there we go. All right, now I gotta tidy this up just a little bit. Bear with me. Doesn't mean we gotta go in the woods and growl for honey, but oh, here we go. All right, so now, compile that real quick. Complete a quest. Boom, boom, boom. Which quest are you? Target practice. Okay. Which quest are you? Alchemical okay, Moments. Alright, so when I complete that, it didn't, didn't go up. Maybe I didn't. If you're not getting experience, there might be a few things that's going on with that. So let's check our interaction system. Quest system, quest data table, collect XP reward 35. Okay, so that is doing as it should. So let's check, maybe we haven't set up the HUD system. So in the HUD elements, let's check our player HUD widget. This should be associated with, yeah, get XP bar percent. Get XP bar percent, current XP, next level. 
Mm, what we might not have done. Oh. Cause I'm stupid. We actually have to call this function in order to <laughs> in order to get so in the quest log icon. Um, wherever we're clicking the button, that's not, no, that's the quest log icon, that's the wrong one. So we need the quest log, quest log, these are the player elements in the quest system. Ah, alright, alright. Quest icon widget. So in the quest icon widget, the one that pops up with the player that we're doing all of this checks on. So right where we're doing the the rewards, so quest completed, given up, given our rewards to the player and the gold, and then we're saying quest completed, and then all that. Somewhere in here, we just need to get our player reference. I'm going to do it right here, right after we're removing and adding. So I'm going to do it right here. So gain XP. I'm going to call that function right here. I'm going to hook that like that, and that like that. And then the XP reward straight into there. So yeah, it's it's one thing to make the function, and then another to call it. <laughs> That's a necessary step, but it should work for every quest once you do. So let's see if I turn this in. Yeah, to, hey, I almost hit level two. All right, well, let's see if I do real quick. So. Give me my bow. Boy. Alright. Shoot him in the chest. Shoot him in the face. Didn't count. We're going to fix the bow up pretty soon, too. We don't even have arrows associated yet, but we will be getting into that. So let's see. Target practice. Quest. Alright. Let me just fix the. Um, you know what? You're going to give 350 experience. So now we'll be able to tell, yeah, level six, and it just completely leveled me up all those times. So just to check one more thing. So if you watch my health, if you watch my health bar and my mana bar when I turn it in, well, my, my health bar changed, but my mana bar didn't. It should have. So we're going to do one thing. It's another way you can prototype things, or not prototype, but check things is let's add a text block, two text blocks. So for the first one, it's going to be bound to my player's max health, and the second one, player's max mana. I'm going to start showing you all some more prototyping things that can help out. Oh, it is. It's just because my health, is, my mana is full, so, so it's okay. But it is going up, so that's the important thing. All right, so that is your level system as far as skill points and such. We'll go into that in another video coming up soon, and then we'll fix our bow. And then I got treasure chests lined up to show y'all, and then some enemy AI as well as some animal huntables. So I know I've been away for a minute. It's like I said, this time of year is just rough for us. Not rough, like in a bad way, but just like hectic. So, uh, but we are going to be carrying on with this. So I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.